very lucky to have Margaret Newton with us today. Um, and she's here, she's a guest of Good Heart Artist Residency, and maybe she'll tell us a little bit how her time has been there so far this week. Um, and she's here as part of uh, the National Endowment for the Arts Big Read, which is the program that we've been doing all spring long. And because Good Heart Artist Residency, Residency is a partner with us, um, we were able to have Margaret here today, and then she will also be here this Thursday, 7 o'clock, at um, the Carnegie Building. Um, Margaret is a professor at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, and today she's he here to read a book to us. And it's a very special book because it's bilingual, which means it's written in Ojibwe and English. What's Ojibwe, you wonder? <laughs> Margaret's going to tell us. And um, last but um, certainly not least, I would like to make a land acknowledgement to recognize that we are learning and celebrating together today on Anishinaabe lands home of the Waganaxian Adawa family. Can everyone help me give Margaret a warm welcome? Yay! Hey, what? Because I'll start out with Ani. Wade Nodin, indigenous cause, Chihuahua, Minnesota. Chihuahua, go piquens, presents me on Daya and Wade. No magi, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I. It's nice to at least, if you're a language teacher, you should use a little bit of a language and model that. <laughs> um, and I grew up in Minnesota. I got into studying and teaching Ojibwe. I mean, when I grew up, we used the term, um, I actually had a great grandmother who said she was Indian. We used the term Chippewa while I was growing up. It's a measure of how old I am that now we use Anishinaabe, but we understand that to mean the Ojibwe, Ogawa, and Potawatomi people. So this book, um, I taught for a long time here in Michigan, and this book now, because I'm teaching a little bit west, <laughs> my friends over here will say, you have too many vowels, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's pretty easy. Um, it actually spans, it's kind of fun. I will start in the back, so because I think some folks, especially, you have a front seat, right? You should come away with this knowing you can write a book, right? That would be, that should be the point of it. So I'll start in the back because it's kind of the story of the story. So I'm here at the Good Heart Residency because my dear friend Cecilia split it with me. Cecilia was here the week before, and I'm here the week after. And Cecilia is the publisher that made this book possible. And Dolly is the person who drew all the art. And then here you have, you guys can look at them later, but this is me with my two daughters, Nintanami Kwezans, Nintanami and the younger daughter wrote the story, and the older daughter did the layout and design. So it takes a lot of different people to make a book happen, um, but this one has a nice story of who brought it together. Uh, so the story is by my younger daughter, Fiona. It's called Dokunanin Jingwan, which is one big long word in Anishinaabe Mwend. Um, that means to fall asleep holding hands. I don't know if anybody's ever seen those little videos of otters sleeping, holding hands so they don't fall apart, right? And that's a true thing, otters do that. But she was really fascinated with how they stayed connected. Um, I think as kids get older, I would say I still feel connected to my mom, and I hope my daughters stay connected to me. We think about how we stay connected, right? And another thing other people have noticed and had a lot of fun pointing out, you might want to look for these two, you see these two little dots here? Those are little kind of spirit dots. And Dolly draws them in most of the pictures. So sometimes when I'm reading it, people have fun looking for those. So I will read you the story, but then we can certainly talk about how it became a book afterwards. Or we can talk about why we wanted to do a book that had two languages, because we hope I was looking at this a thousand books before kindergarten. This is maybe the fourth book that I've written that's bilingual like this for kids. I clearly need to keep going if we're going to have a thousand of them to read, right? So I've got students that also, I've got a student who's got a book that's bilingual about a hummingbird coming out in a couple of months. Um, I have some other students working on things. So there are a lot of us doing this kind of work and we need to continue it. So, we will begin. I'll try to show you the pictures as we go. Banakashin, Wabu Zanski, Bakobise, Zivin, Besho, Ayanit, Ogashin. Little rabbit splashed as she jumped into the river near her mother. I don't know if you guys can move around and see if you want to. You're good, right? Okay. That's totally fine. You're not bothering me at all. Giabate, Manomenike, Gizis, Gizisek. 
was a warm summer day in August. It's a time when the Anishinaabek go ricing and otters gather in groups. Last summer, when she was starting to swim and run, her mother noticed she could jump high, so that is why she named her little otter Rabbit. Her older sister had black tipped ears, so her name was Chicken. Chickadee often went off to explore. Wabuzen skeabe ohi ikawaman gashwan we bibinat eagle. Little rabbit was learning from her mother how to catch fish. Yasogijik wabuzen skeabe gashwan he gashkozuat wika. Each day, rabbit and her mother woke late. Me dash to bibinawat eagle yam. Ma lija o janamize wat the dumnatade wat ishwanigeka. They grab fish kept busy playing until long after it started to get dark. Wabuzans, ohigen wendan, eaje wabinat asin, jikundi bamendang ipiche nagamot. Little rabbit liked to toss a stone back and forth whenever she was worried. She had a song to go with it. Asinis, asinis, wichi awishin, bagwashbanin, hijigaten, bagwashbanin, hijigaten. Asani, Sasani, Swawinda, Mawishin, Gafiji, Gijinenda, Wok, Oho, Wawi, Yaga, Mikwe, Ape, Ape, Yo. That little song means, Little stone, little stone, stay with me. Jump in the sunlight, jump in the moonlight, little stone, little stone, tell me how it was created, this round world. Naso de Big Wabuzans, Minwal Gashin, one, Ogi. Each night, Little Rabbit and her mother slept holding hands near the river and their favorite cedar. One night, Little Rabbit decided they wouldn't sleep holding hands. And when she woke up, she was floating alone. She realized her mother wasn't there, and she started to worry. She tossed her little rock thought about what to do and how to be brave. She decided to find her mother. An eagle was flying to her nest in the pine, so the rabbit walked in that direction. Eagle was busy feeding catfish pieces to her little eagles. I'm looking for my mother, said the rabbit. Oma, enough, yea, has she been here? Ingi wabma, me no gongawi niyasit, the dominant megazi one. I saw her, said the eagle, but she's not here now. Okikadon, wabji shiwan, yekanoha, wabji shinsan. At the base of the pine, a marten is teaching her babies to hunt mice. I'm looking for my mother, said the rabbit. Has she been here? We saw her, but not now, said the marten. Midash wabuzan so gi wabman amoyan. We on it a jidamoyan. Minanda wabman agashim idam wabuzans oma ina yeah yeah. 
Iwama, Ninong of Gawaneyase, Edonet Amu. Rabbit saw me near a yarrow flower. I'm looking for my mother, said Little Rabbit. Has she been here? Sorry, but she's not here now, said the bee. She's gonna do a lot of checking. Wahoo's and so gi ajigi wezi ring. Amikun, gekno mao in it, amikun sun, je okno okorna kenin. Little rabbit went along the river and saw a beaver teaching her children to build a dam. Ninanda wab ma nagashim idang wabuzis. Oma ina yaya, you almost can say that phrase. Oma ina yaya is, has she been here? Nigi wab ma mi nongum, gawinea sit idamanit amikum. The rabbit headed to the river and asked the beaver, who was teaching the children to make a dam, dam where the mother might be. Has she been here? She had not. Nida shwabu zan so gi wa ma mikanaku. Nin wa midaswea she is we o mikanaku sin. Wabu nit gibonsan. Little rabbit saw a snapping turtle and her 13 little turtles counting minnows. Ninanda wa ma nigashim idang wabu zins. Looking for my mother. Have you seen her? Oma ina yaya. Nigi wa ma minongum. Gawinea sit idominant mikanaku. Gawinea sit. Wabu zins. Gawin o gigi kendansi. Ni eaji wavena asin. Minua na nagrawenda. Wa ejinajike wa nidash o gi ma jinagawa. The rabbit didn't know what to do. So she tossed her little stone and thought about when an otter is alone. And she began to sing. Asinis, asinis, wiji ya wishin. The guashkanin, pijigate, the guashkanin, pijigate. Midash, inunda one. Midash, mama went up with And then she heard another voice join in. Asinis, asinis, wa winda ma wishin. Da eji gijinenda what o o wa we aga me kwe a he a he o. Probably forgot who decided to join and sing. O gosh, one in peace government, me dominant. Ish bin, o shkiniki yum bane, ma gija gete wizi yum bane. The mother returned and told her, whether you're young or old, a pane ego gi gosh gano nim jina. You can always hold hands with your mother, and you'll both feel a little better. <laughs> so that's the end of it. And there's things that she put in there on purpose because she sort of said, you know, sometimes when you're little, you get lost in the store, and you kind of have to say, you know, say things. She actually did have a song that she would sing, and then her sister or I would kind of recognize where she was. But then she was talking about how hard it was as she got a little older. There would be places, we were at a language camp um, up north in the Sioux, and she was sitting with kids and they were talking about their, you know, older problems when they were in their teens. And they said, you know, having a good song is a nice thing. And they often also had a little stone they carried with for resilience. So it was a book intended to just sort of cheer people up. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, that's sweet. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.